Welcome to Simply Naturally Simi. I am coming to you with a two weeks of eating on keto video. So my video uh, compilation started on the 19th of January and I had a big salad for lunch. I then went on to have a snack. Um, it comprised of, uh, this bar comprised of eight mini bars and I only had one bar. It's 30 grams of carbs per 100 grams of chocolate and it is uh, 72%. So I'm just weighing my chocolate bar there and um, it was only 13 grams. So about three grams of carbs, which was okay. So I then went ahead and had some leftover beef for dinner i wasn't up to cooking uh, vegetables so i just had the beef that evening then it is the 20th of january and this is what i'm having for lunch uh, this is like an omelette toasty i'll do a video on this soon i had some ox chicks with avocado for dinner and this was so filling and so yummy so this is another way of making ox chicks i have um an ox cheeks video if you want to see how i make my own ox cheeks you can check out the video in the link below this is another toasty uh, an omelette toasty so i'm still playing around with this recipe and seeing the best and then once i have perfected it i'll post it so that was on the 21st of january and then for dinner i had some leftover turkey stuffed turkey breast i still didn't feel like getting vegetables into me so i had my breast my turkey breast with mayonnaise and that was it on the 22nd of january i think this was a thursday i had one meal so i had some steak with coslo and that was it this is Saturday the 23rd of January and Saturday is famed for pancakes in my household. So I had some low carb pancakes, I sprinkled some skinny syrup, the cookie dough, I get this from TK Marks and I just drowned my can pancakes in cream and this was like 50 mils of cream believe it or not this was so yummy my children love these pancakes so they were so good i prepared a fake away dinner for saturday night because in my household we have takeaways on a saturday especially um with this lockdown saturday night has turned into takeaway night so i made pizza the link for the pizza recipe is down below and we moved on to sunday when i where i had one meal i felt really full from last night and i made roast celeriac i had leftover pizza slice and leftover barbecue chicken monday the 25th of january i had some um a salad for lunch i had some stewed beef that was in the fridge and then some egg mayo and avocado and lettuce and that filled me up nicely i had i still had some leftover chicken breast stuffed chicken breast that was sitting in the fridge so i had that with mayonnaise for dinner that was on monday the 25th of january 26th of january was a write-off it was the big brother's birthday and fun was had <laughs> On the 27th of January, I was trying to pull things back. So I had eggs and leftover chakalaka. Then for dinner, I had eggs again because I enjoyed fried egg and I just made more fried egg. I had a steak and some coleslaw. This was, this was yummy in my tummy. Then for lunch on the 28th of January, I had my keto rolls. I added sweetener to this recipe to make it into like a scone and reduce the salt. It was yummy. Dinner, I had halloumi chips. So this is how I make my halloumi fries. I just heat up some oil, make sure that it's nice and hot, and I chop my halloumi into uh, strips that resemble fries, and I fry it in that. It will re release some water, but be patient. The water will burn away, and then you'll be left with nice and crispy fries. Mine were close to burning at this stage because I was filming okay you'll be interested to know what i served my halloumi chips with i had some chicken gizzards 
turn away now if you're vegetarian but this is a meat eaters luxury it's a delicacy it is yummy i had that with the salad and then the next day i had some chicken livers for lunch with a salad with well cucumber and cheese i was i'd run out of salad and this was the 29th of january for dinner i had some chicken thighs and i made some chalk chip cookies so i had a cookie and a cup of tea because i was so full i think the chicken livers are quite filling but this cookie recipe is awesome you need to check it out in the link below i'll link the recipe below and you need to try it basically it's just the best keto cookie so we moved on to the next day and this is saturday i had a snack a cookie while i was preparing my chinese fake away so i would say i had one meal because it was the chinese fake away night and i just had the cookie for a snack with a cup of tea and this was my dinner these celeriac chips are amazing check out the recipe below sunday i had chicken wings left over from last night with a salad for lunch my salad had some plum tomatoes lettuce and mayo then for dinner i had scrambled eggs i felt lazy didn't want to cook so i made scrambled eggs and then had raspberries and cream for dessert and that wrapped up my sunday night i must say on this day i was very hungry i was close to falling off the wagon i just craved food and everything i think it's because uh, i was uh, just having a lazy day that didn't help so on monday this is lunch time still trying to perfect our keto toast day but i think we've reached a perfect recipe and this is what it looked like i stuffed it with a um, sausage and cheese then on the first of february i had some ox chicks uh, 40 grams of pumpkin and some coslo for dinner and then we moved on to the 2nd of february i had my day off this was my tuesday off so i made pizza for lunch served it with an avocado and it was very yummy dinner time i missed coconut pop i hadn't had coconut pop in ages so i had coconut pop and onion and tomato sauce and salmon 